Well, welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, this is uh, Business Owners Smash It Online. If you're expecting something else, well, stick around because I reckon this is going to be a bit more exciting today. So I'm your host. My name's Nick Cree, and uh, and we run this uh, every Tuesday. So uh, so tonight's topic happens to be about uh, virtual assistants and the process of uh, going through and hiring virtual assistants. Or if you've already got virtual assistants. Uh, hey, you know, what's the process of, uh, of managing your team? How do you get it, keep everyone engaged and how do you have a good productive uh, journey with it? So more about that a wee bit later on. Uh, and we've got a bit of an agenda. We've got uh, people just uh, uh, popping in now. So let's just uh, run through and um, open mic time. So feel free to uh, unmute yourself, introduce yourself. So who are you? What's your business? And uh, what I'd really like to know uh, tonight is uh, what you're hoping to get out of tonight. Why are you here? Because that'll help to uh, guide some of what uh, I'll talk about as well too. So who's brave? Who's going to go first? Uh, come and introduce yourself and uh, let us know uh, why you're here. <laughs> who's that? Was that okay. Jane, was it? Well, why is it the same old... Um starters i know right I nick know. i know i'm not i'm not gonna jump in someone else will have to do it i'm not doing it <laughs> right i'll start who's that it's robert oh robert how you going mate i'm bloody fantastic excellent to hear <laughs> i'm robert hills the exit accountant and i help business owners grow their business and then sell it at a value that they actually want and awesome. can achieve. Um, I'm on here tonight because I'm at that stage where I think I need a bit of extra assistance with uh, all those little jobs, all those little admin jobs. And I believe that uh, a VA can certainly, uh, certainly take care of a lot of those jobs for me. Definitely can. Um, and so we will be covering some of that tonight. So uh, excellent. Glad you're here. Thanks, Nick. All right, who else have we got here tonight? That'll be Stacy. Hey, Nick. Hey, um, Stacy. So I'm a dog groomer for Perfect Friends Dog Grooming, and the reason why I came on tonight is because I really need a VA. Dog grooming is getting really busy. Summer is starting to really pick up, and I'm a um i do one-on-one -on -one dog grooming and i'm the only person that's in my business excellent how many other people here are the only person in their business fantastic excellent all right well this is uh, definitely for you excellent welcome along stacy good to see you again thank you all right who else have we got here uh, my guy. name is paul hello hi. paul how are you going good good um, yeah, I run the business by myself. I have a bunch of contractors I use and um, I'm just looking for ways to grow my business and manage my time a bit better because I'm pretty time poor. Uh, I get hooked up with uh, paperwork and quoting and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I really need some assistance to try and move forward and just um, use my time more economically. All right. Excellent. So time poor, that sort of sounds like something that's with uh, a lot of us as well. So that's awesome. Well, welcome along. Who else is, uh, have we got here tonight? I'm Victoria Smith, and I'm from Wellington, New Zealand. Hey, Victoria. Hi. Um, the thing is, I'm a psychotherapist and a counsellor, and I'm also in my own, I'm a sole practitioner, but I have, like the previous person, a bunch of people who contract to me. But the thing I'm interested in with using a VA is um, I'd be concerned about the confidentiality so, you know, I, I'd be interested in some comments about that, if that's possible, please, Nick. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely cover that as well, too. So, excellent. Thank you. All right. Who else have we got here tonight? Donna. How are you going? I am doing well. That's good. My name's Donna Arnold. I live in Brisbane. <clears throat> no longer living on the Gold Coast. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, I moved last week. Um, I'm an online business manager. So basically, for those who don't know what an online business manager is, if you look at the traditional businesses, you have an admin assistant, you have an office manager. 
online, you have a VA and you have an online business manager. I'm an online business manager. I um, basically help look after and do the work for you that you don't want to do or it's non-income generating. Um, so you can focus on your niche and your favourite things to do and income generating tasks. Awesome. I do all the other. Excellent. So would you consider yourself a virtual assistant as well? Um, yeah, but um, I do more than that because the way I see it is a virtual assistant goes, oh, time's up, I'm gone. Whereas when you look at a, a, a traditional business, the office manager shows more responsibility, takes on more responsibility. Cool. Okay. And that's the difference between the two. Excellent. Thank you. Hmm. Awesome. Well, uh, welcome to Brisbane. I'm still on the coast. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Who else have we got here tonight? Hello, Nick. It's Aldwen. Hey, 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 Aldwen. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm here with Elena Massey. Hey, and Elena. I'll... <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll do an intro and then I'll pass it over to Elena. Awesome. So... <clears throat> Hi, John. <laughs> uh, so, hi, I'm Aldwin Alternay, known as the Media Queen. What I do is I help people get their message to the masses using online and offline media. And over to you, Elena. I'm Elena Massey, known as the Intuitionist. I'm based on the Gold Coast, and I help people find peace, passion, and power by using their intuition for business success. Excellent. And what do you want to get out of tonight? What are you hoping for tonight? Some tips on uh, on VAs. I've got a full time VA at the moment, and um, and I like what you said earlier in your Facebook Live about not ignoring your VA. <laughs> I think that's really crucial. So just any tips to to help work more efficiently with VAs, and also to hire more VAs effectively. That would be what I'd want to get out of it. Any tips on that as well on hiring uh, great VAs? Okay. And I've been looking for a, a good um, VA for a while, so I'm interested in how I find the best VA that suits oh, me. Yeah. How do you find them? Okay. Well, how do they find you? Well, it's the same thing, really. We're <laughs> magnetically attracted through there, intuition. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, welcome along. Glad you could both make it tonight. Thank you. Hello. All right. Time for a couple more. Come and introduce yourself. Tell us what you're uh, hoping for tonight. Hey, Nick. Hey, Jenny hey, Walker, how are you going? Hang on. We'll grab Cliff first. We'll come back to you. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hi, everyone. Loving the backdrop, by the way. It really looks good. Uh, my name is Cliff. I run a Brisbane-based video production uh, business, and I help uh, businesses grow by using strategic video assets without having to create an endless amount of content. Uh, what I'm looking to get from today is uh, basically I've used VAs on and off from different uh, places, but never really got all under, like from under one roof sort of thing, which is what I know Nick, you do. You are. Uh, and I think that's a much more efficient way of doing things. All right. So like, when you say under one roof, what do you mean there? As in under one uh, entity. Uh, so one entity, yep. Yeah, I think there's benefits of better communication when, when you do that. Yep. And uh, that would be something I'd like to learn how you do it. All right. Sounds good. And uh, thanks for the compliment there at the, at the beginning. Cliff is an uh, expert videographer, so uh, I've been working on my lighting at the back there. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. <laughs> good. Many trips to Bunnings. <laughs> All right, Jenny. Hey, Nick. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. You're uh, you're kicking some goals at the moment, I see. Thank you very much. Yeah, a couple of really cool things happening at the moment. I'm a for those who don't know me, um, I'm a, the owner of a company called Ella from the Room Consulting. We're a business consulting firm that um, helps small business owners untangle the mess of business. So through developing clarity, structure, and process. We basically do everything from vision, mission and values to understanding product offerings and strategy. So that kind of getting really clear about why you're in business and what you're going to do and what you need to do. So, um, and I also have then started my mastermind programs, which are the three day retreats where we take you away and do that as a deep dive. So lots of cool things happening at the moment. Awesome. Excellent. And um, what are you hoping to get out of tonight? Um, I, because I am in the process of growing, I have two very distinct parts of my business. 
Um, I have the personal business coaching that I do, and then I have a whole lot of commercial work that I do for large companies. So me, I'm looking to kind of see how I can best find a VA that's going to suit some of those more unique roles um, that need a little bit more than traditional VA services. So I'm really keen to hear what you have to say tonight. All right. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. We've got time for one more. Who's going to be our lucky last? Just come and jump in. Introduce yourself. Oh, I don't know. My name is David. Who was that? Jake, was it? Oh, I think I jumped in. You go, mate. Sorry. Oh, two of us. Two of us jumped in at the same time. Uh, that's right. We can do you both. So, uh, well, you go, you go, David, and then we'll come back to Jake. Okay. My name is David. Um, my company is Shifting Lives. We um, do counseling and uh, therapy um, and uh, a lot of and personal coaching uh, and mediation. And basically, I do all of a lot of my work on Zoom and by phone at this point. And so, for me, it's um, setting up how to set up really a because um, I'm going to be expanding and how to set up uh, with all of my, with not just um, virtual assistant, but even uh, all of my, you know, as I start adding on uh, therapists and coaches, I'm setting up everybody for uh, virtual access, um, you know, not, you know, as opposed to working in an office instead of working on Zoom and working on phone and such. So right. how to set up a whole virtual company, shall we say. Okay, excellent. All right, for setting up your organisation. Okay, excellent. Thanks, David. Glad to uh, see you here again. All yes, right. Yes, I like your events. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, Jake. All right. So, is my audio working? Okay, mate. Good as gold. Yeah. All right. Yep. Ready. All right. So, Jake, uh, manufacturing jeweller. Uh, refraction manufacturing on the Gold Coast, uh, specialising in handmade jewellery, um, everything handmade, no computers, uh, no card, no 3D printing, everything done by hand, uh, the old school way but with new technology, um, so shipping all over the world, uh, yeah, pretty much you, you name it, we can make it, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we do here. What I want to get out of this tonight, I'm just going to sit here and listen, I'm this uh, business development type side of things is not something I've done before outside of just uh, local networking. So right. I think I've sent you a few messages in the past saying I was going to come to the nights, but I've just been too busy. So I thought I'd jump in tonight. Oh, that's the way. Oh, well, that's good news if you're, if you're busy. So hopefully that's all profitable as well too. Is, and are you, are you a sole practitioner as well, or you've got uh, staff working with you? Uh, at this point in time, mate, we've got, um, uh, my wife, myself, and I've got a videographer. He's coming in, so he's doing the uh, media stuff. So we're going in yep. a lot more into videos. Yeah. So right. um, yeah, it's a small team, but it's it's difficult to employ. So with what you're saying here tonight, it seems like I probably might get a little bit of value out of delegating because it's not something I find it easy to do. Yeah, excellent. Oh, I think that's the same with a lot of us in business as well too. So, excellent. Well, glad you can make it uh, tonight, Jake. All right. Thank well, you, let's um, let's kick off uh, tonight. Uh, so, I'll I'll just run through the um, uh, our agenda. Let me just share the screen. All right. Um, hopefully, you can see the uh, uh, my PowerPoint. Just give us a thumbs up that you can see uh, business owners smashing it online. Thank you. Excellent. All right, so um, for those that came a bit later and don't know who I am, my name's Nick Cree and I'm your host tonight. Uh, Business Owners Smashing Online is a, uh, a webinar series which is held every Tuesday. Normally we have a guest speaker, but uh, tonight uh, it will be me. So once a month, uh, I'll generally jump in and speak as well. Uh, and tonight's topic, as we said, is all about uh, virtual assistants. Uh, and uh, the um, Business Owners Smashing it Online is for business owners, entrepreneurs, people that are thinking about getting into business. Uh, and uh, we really focus on some of the online aspects or the digital aspects of, uh, of business uh, that are going to help you to uh, either be more profitable, save your money, save your time, uh, or tools there that uh, can make uh, your business life a wee bit uh, easier. So, uh, so for tonight, the, uh, we do have an agenda. Uh, the first thing that uh, we'll run through are some uh, cool online tools. 
So I've got uh, half a dozen or so tools that uh, some of them, are, actually I think all of them tonight are ones that I use, uh, but they're ones that are uh, worth exploring in your business. Then uh, we'll have the, uh, the main presentation, we'll have questions as well too, so if you've got any questions we'll work out a, a, a way to do that uh, effectively. Um, and uh, oh, a prize draw, I didn't actually bring a prize along tonight, might have to think about that. And um, then we'll talk about the next event before we uh, close off. So for now, um, uh, if, uh, if you've got your phone with you or you're on your computer and you can check into Facebook, uh, please do that. Uh, there's two reasons for that. Uh, one is that uh, it just lets everyone know that I uh, didn't turn up, that uh, it's happening, so it helps to uh, spread the word a bit further. But secondly, uh, and probably more importantly for you, is that it builds your digital profile online so that when people are stalking you and checking you out, they get to um, sort of see what you're interested in, where you go, and uh, what some of your professional uh, development is as well too. So uh, as you build your, your digital profile, it's one of those things that uh, you know people sort of start to check out to uh, see. Uh, well, well they, they really just judge your, you know, how professional you are sometimes with it. Some it means nothing sometimes, but sometimes just building up the events that you go to uh, is better than just having all the um, uh, the coffee shops or whatever that you uh, check into. Mind you, that's sort of uh, probably dropped off a bit these days too. I don't spend so many time, so much time in coffee shops these days, unfortunately. So, way to check in is just tap in uh, what's on your mind when you've opened up Facebook. Uh, it'll bring up a menu from the bottom, and uh, just look for the one that says check in, and uh, tap that, and it'll bring you up some options probably close to you. If you don't see business owners smashing online, just click into search and just type in business owners uh, smashing it online. It'll come up. And check in. Feel free to make a comment, tag me in, tag a friend in, tag someone else in here that you know as well too, and um, just to um, check in. All right. Okay, well that uh, brings us through to the uh, cool online tools uh, segment tonight. So let me just unshare that and I'll uh, bring us into my browser and I'll take you through sort of some of the tools that uh, uh, I've got for us tonight. All right. Try and find my browser now. I've lost the uh, lost the controls. Here we go. It's always fun when there's uh, so many screens that you can have open. All right. I think this is no. That's not the one. Okay. I think it'll be this one here. Just bear with me while I bring it across. And we will open the tabs. Okay. Let's open these five tabs here. Oh, got the gremlins working tonight and they're not going to uh, do what we want. Let's just try that again. Let's just start that again. All right, looks like the browser's not playing ball. Here we go. Let's try this. Okay. All right, I'll enlarge that. Okay, hopefully you can see my screen. Just give us a thumbs up that you can see the Add to Calendar button screen. Great, thank you. We got there. All right, so um, the, the first one that I'll show us through tonight is, um, this one's quite an interesting one. This is an add to calendar uh, button. So for those of you that, um, <clears throat> that run events uh, and, um, or you've got uh, uh, meetings that you uh, book virtually, this, um, this website here, which is uh, add to calendar, allows you to send out a link in your email that uh, when people click on it, uh, it will immediately open their calendar and you can add the, um, the event or the invitation uh, to, their, um, uh, to your calendar. So um, you can also create a button for it that you can put on your website. So for instance, if you're, if you're marketing your, your, your event 
uh, then uh, there's a button like this one here that I'm hovering over that you can add to your um, uh, add to your uh, website. So and just to show you how it works, uh, if you click on it, it uh, gives the option there. Uh, to add the event to Apple, Google, Office 365, Office, so pretty much all of the calendars that uh, people have got. People then click on the um, particular calendar and uh, it will open uh, up their calendar and then add the event in. So this one here is just a, a test event that we've created. If we click save, it's now, it's just a single click into uh, their calendar. So if we, if we get back to it, which I'm just going to shrink that because I've lost all my tabs. Okay. All right, so let's get back to how to uh, actually create one of those. All right, so um, over on the uh, products here, there's, if you see the drop down, it's got add to calendar button. And um, so you've got some uh, options to, uh, to try it out. It tells you how to use it. Uh, and there's a button down that says let's get started. So this is the best way to um, uh, to get into it. It'll ask you to uh, log in or sign in so you so you just need to create uh, an account. It's a free account uh, and I think I've already got one. Uh, here we go and uh, once I've already found an account all right let's just log in rather than trying to s sign up. All right, and then once, you, once you've signed in, uh, there, it, there's a, a calendar view. So it gives you a calendar view. And so simply all you do is, uh, let's say um, uh, you want to create an event uh, tomorrow. Just click on it, uh, and we'll just add a, uh, a test event. Now, you don't need to use this calendar for uh, your, your normal calendar. This is just solely for creating that uh, link or that uh, button that you're going to use. So... Um, so we'll create an event, we'll um, give it a time of say uh, 10.30 uh, and uh, you've got a number of other options as well. Uh, so you can put the, um, uh, like a reference to it all, so call this test event again. And, um, and you can give it a description, uh, a location, so if it's a Zoom event or if it's a, some sort of webinar, uh, you can t tap it in there for, for virtual events or you can put a, a physical location in there as well too. And then you just hit create, and once you've hit uh, create, uh, then down underneath it, it gives you a whole lot of uh, links. So here's a, here's a link that uh, you can use in email. They've got a short version of the link that you can use as well. <coughs> and um, then they've got links to uh, each of the uh, various calendars, like Apple, Google, Office 365, etc. And um, if you want to add the uh, button to your calendar, uh, to your website, just simply click the copy code button, that's copied, give it to your web developer or go to your uh, website, paste it in, and it will add that uh, button there, which uh, when people click on it, it will uh, come up and they can just add it to whatever calendar they want. So, um, so it's a pretty uh, simple process, uh, and uh, that was <clears throat> when you sign up for an account, uh, it is free. But uh, it is, it is a, a limited option for free. If it's something that you're going to use regularly, like a button like that to automate or make things simple for people, uh, then they've got a number of uh, plans in here to use. Uh, and for most people, the small business plan, about $20, $20 a month is, um, is generally what you're going to use. So it allows you to put a widget on your website, uh, use it in emails, put it uh, and into a uh, signature in your, um, <coughs> in your emails. Uh, and uh, but it's just a simple way of uh, creating that uh, button without uh, needing to know a lot of code. So the website for that is uh, adevent.com, and what we'll do is um, all of these links uh, we'll uh, pop those into chat. So if you uh, uh, click on the chat icon at the bottom of your screen uh, and uh, open it up, and you'll see at the bottom of chat are three uh, little dots. If you click on that, uh, you can then save that chat to your computer. So it means you don't have to write down the uh, URLs. You can just save the chat and uh, click through it to it uh, later on at your leisure to go and have a look through it. Um, uh, Jenny's asking, would you put the button on the registration success page to ensure they register first? Absolutely. So you can go through the uh, process of uh, them filling in your registration form. And once they hit submit, then uh, you can you'd, you'd put your uh, add to um, calendar. 
uh, button on that uh, thank you page. So that's, that's a, uh, a good use for it. Um, uh, what else have we got? Uh, okay. Oh, Jenny, <laughs> you've got uh, daylight saving or something in uh, in New Zealand, have you? So, um, yeah, we weren't running late. Uh, obviously, hadn't accounted for daylight saving. All right. So that's the uh, the first app is the ad <clears throat> ad event. Next one is uh, how many people the, who use Microsoft noticed that uh, Microsoft Teams was down uh, today. I think so. Today and yesterday it was down. So. Um, uh, so they, they, they had a big outage uh, of Microsoft Teams, so uh, uh, people couldn't communicate. So, uh, and um, the way you can find out how your uh, services that you're using, uh, whether there's an issue or a problem with it, there's a website called Down Detector, and uh, they list a heap of uh, websites uh, with issues. So, um, and, and really, these are places where you can do two things. One is you can report an issue. Uh, the other one is to check to see if there isn't an, uh, an issue with the uh, uh, app or the uh, uh, process you're using. So if we uh, just type in the top there, say Microsoft, and uh, search for that, and it will bring up uh, Microsoft's uh, online services, and um, uh, can we find Teams? Let's just, uh, you can, oh, well let's just have a look at, uh, let's say uh, Skype for instance. See that's got a uh, squiggly line at the bottom, it's got uh, up and down. So you can see that uh, recently, uh, what was that, this morning, uh, there were 10 reports of uh, outages there. Uh, and so there was obviously uh, a, an issue happening then. So, so it could have been just a local issue or it could have been a, um, uh, something bigger. If you've got a problem with it, you can uh, just click that button and um, you can uh, sort of click to say, hey, look, we've got a problem with, say, uh, logging in or receiving messages or whatever it is. So um, oh, we've actually just submitted a, uh, a report there. Um, so, so it's a place where you can go just to see whether there are any issues. Now, recently, uh, what is it, uh, Google's G Suite, Google had a, a major global outage at one point. Facebook has, uh, Microsoft has. So uh, rather than uh, just thinking that it's you, uh, you know, this is a good place to go to check whether it is you or whether there is, in fact, a, uh, a wider issue around the, um, the global or locally. <clears throat> so that one there is called uh, downdetector.com. Next one is, um, someone, oh, someone just brought this to my attention uh, recently, which is about checking the spelling on your website. So this one here is called spellingscan.com. And uh, this is obviously still running from when I did it before. And um, what it allows you to do is uh, is to check the spelling on your website. So I'm a I'm an awful speller. I just type stuff up, uh, put it up, and uh, people tell me uh, what the spelling errors are. So this is this is probably a good use for you know if you've got a virtual assistant. If you want to check the spelling on your website, get them to put your website uh, domain name in there. So let's pop this one here in. Click scan and uh, it will come out and give you uh, results on your website. Now it doesn't only just check spelling, it'll, it'll give you the pages where you've got uh, misspelled words. It's too early now, so it's just doing, running its uh, scan at the moment. Um, it'll give you the page, so you can go to all of those pages indiv individually and fix up all the spelling areas, and in fact that's probably a job that you could give one of your, your virtual assistants, is to go through and um, run the report and clean up any uh, spelling errors. But it also does things like, uh, uh, it checks for broken links on your website, it checks for any malware on your website, uh, and it's also got um, one which uh, checks for missing images as well too. So sometimes things break on the website, like images are a uh, classic one, and uh, so if you run this on a fairly regular basis, like let's say monthly, uh, then you can just check that your uh, website is uh, operating uh, optimally, it's, uh, your spelling's good, uh, you're fixing up broken links and missing images, and um, you know, if you do get any uh, malware or there's any malware on your website, sometimes you may be unaware of it, uh, so it will pick that up. Uh, so, uh, and I'll give you an example of that. I came across a website the other day that uh, I found in search, clicked on it, and uh, it took me to a site that definitely was not that site. It was a um, some other scam site. Now, when uh, uh, I let them know that uh, they had uh, a virus, this wasn't a client or anything. This is just someone I found on Facebook, so I messaged them, and uh, they said, "Oh no, all, all looks good from my end." And um, 
Uh, but what and what that person had done is they typed in the URL directly into the um, uh, into their browser, and so this particular piece of malware uh, worked so that if you typed directly into the browser the domain name, uh, then uh, it would give you that site. But if you uh, went to it from Google search, it would redirect you then to another site. So pretty clever piece of uh, malware. So uh, it means the person that uh, that owns the site may not even know that they're infected because they just go straight to the website, whereas all the visitors are going off somewhere else. So again, this is a good site to uh, come come and check that out as well too. So, but the main purpose of it is checking your spelling. So this one is called SpellingScan.com. All right. Um, all right, Shopify always has problems with oh down to take yeah it'll it'll help you with uh, Shopify as well so yeah you can it's that other one the previous one down detector uh, you can even type in your own website uh, and um, and see whether that's down there's another one too uh, which if you Google it uh, it's called um, I think it's uh, down for me or is it down um, or and uh, if you just Google that you'll find it and you can type your website in so that's another one. All right, next one here. This is um, uh, one that I've uh, come across recently, uh, and uh, it looked like it was um, it's got some good application. Now I've only really just had a, a surface look at it, um, but it was worthy of a mention uh, because it will help to automate those or well, those that run Facebook groups. If you've got a Facebook group and you ask questions uh, of people that. Uh, uh, that enter the group. So let's say you want, um, let's say, yeah, you want their email address, for instance. So you've asked for their email address to uh, to verify that they're they're real, or if they if you're going to send them something. Uh, I know that some private groups will ask for an email address and a phone number to make sure that the people that are registered should actually be there. Um, but uh, what what this uh, particular app uh, does? Uh, it's called GroupLeads.net. It's a Chrome extension, uh, and um, uh, it is a paid extension, uh, but uh, you, you do get a free trial of it as well too. But it allows you to do things like um, when you've got uh, people that apply to join your group, it it'll, allows you to uh, approve them. So you can approve only those that have asked questions, uh, or sorry, answered the questions, and you can disapprove everyone else. Uh, and um, so it allows you to, to approve people in bulk. Uh, and... Um, it also allows you to check out their profiles, uh, and uh, but what's more, it will uh, if you've asked those questions, when you approve them, it will extract all of the answers to those questions and move it over to a Google spreadsheet. So at the moment, if you if you let's say you ask for email addresses and you and you let, allow people in with an email address, you have to manually go and copy and paste the email address into your uh, Google sheet uh, to get to your uh, CRM. Uh, this way here, it will automatically do it. So it'll do a whole lot. So if you've got 100 people that have asked to join your group, you don't no longer have to copy and paste 100 times. It will just shoot all of that information through into a Google Sheet. So um, yeah, so, that, so that's uh, well worth checking out if you do manage groups uh, and you're looking for a uh, quicker way to automate the, uh, the process of approving people or declining people and also to um, extract the information that they've given you in the questions that you've asked. Again, if you're thinking about um, uh, some uh, jobs that you might get a virtual assistant to do, this one would be a perfect tool and a perfect uh, uh, thing to get them to do. All right. Um, oh, this this one here, Measure School. This one's actually pretty cool. So uh, this one here, for those that uh, want to learn more about uh, how to use Google Analytics or our Google Search Console, Google Tag Manager, and Google Data Studio, uh, those are all tools that you can hook up to your website to get an idea as to what people are doing on your website. So, um, so you might have some some goals in your um, uh, Google Analytics or Tag Manager. So you want to know how many people, for instance, let's say on this one here, how many people are filling out and clicking the form. Uh, and so, uh, so that could be a goal is is these subscribers. If you want to measure that, then there's a certain process or certain things you need to do to set up. In your Google Analytics and your Tag Manager, in order to get a record of that, so that's that's not just recording visitors to your site; it's actually recording the actions that they're doing as well too. So Measure School, they have if you um, subscribe to this, they've got a ton of free resources 
on how to set up your uh, analytics and uh, tag manager and Google properties. Uh, uh, step by step, really easy, it's quite helpful and uh, it'll give you sort of a, a good um, sort of handle on uh, what's actually happening in your site. If you go to the courses tab up the top here, uh, you can see this. So they've got uh, Tag Manager for, Bene for Beginners, Google Analytics for Beginners, Data Studio, setting up Google Analytics. So for those of you that don't have Google Analytics set up on your, on your website, this one's free, it'll allow you to, so it'll walk you through step by step. So the uh, the guy that's put this together, he's done a fantastic job, it's probably the best course that I've seen on uh, you know setting up your uh, Google properties. So again, you know this is the sort of thing that uh, you know if you needed to uh, to get Tag Manager or Analytics set up on your website, great resource to give to your virtual assistant. Uh, they can run through the course and and do the uh, full setup uh, for you uh, on the way through as well too. So um, so yeah, so this one here, been through it and uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. It's uh, very good. All right, well that is the tools that I have for you tonight. So anything there that's sort of a, a standout tools or ones that you've, uh, that you're helpful or things that ones that you think that you might uh, try and use this week? Just pop it in chat or uh, unmute yourself and just tell us uh, which one uh, is your favorite. Just on the um, event one you're talking about. Yeah, the add to calendar one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, I use Google calendars. You can actually um, create an event in there and publish it directly from that calendar. Publish your calendar. I publish the event on the calendar. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you can too. Yes, you can. Yep. So this is just another option and a, and a simpler option, and it's more for if you want to put a button on your website. Yeah. Or sort of ha having links and emails or and that sort of thing there. Yeah, I'll just create some link as well so you can copy. Yeah. Can copy oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that in Google too. Yep. Donna. Um, so that ad, ad event dot com does that yep. replace Calendly or is no, no, no. it's just a link. It's just it's a, it a just link. generates a link for you. So right. you know if you're using Calendly, you'd you'd still use Calendly, but th this uh, and um, you could uh, let me think. Yeah, yeah, no, Calendly generates its own link, so you wouldn't use it if you're using Calendly, but you uh -huh. would use it for let's say a webinar if you're running a webinar and. Um, and you just want to give out a link to people, or you've right. got a group meeting or a team meeting, or you know that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. The special ones. Okay, thanks. Yep. Awesome. Any others there? Any other questions or favourites there? Oh, spelling scan, mate. Uh, I just want to yeah ask about that spelling scan. Now, with the way that different countries have different spelling. Yep. Where is that related to? Is there an option to change it between country or portfolio, like between the options, so it does identify how something is spelled? Yeah, I'm not sure about languages. Um, I haven't had a look at the languages option, but there is an option there to change from, uh, say, US and UK English, so that. Uh, oh, know, okay, not, great. Yeah, so yep. we're not changing all of our words to uh, U US spelling. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right. Well, just on that spelling scan, I've just actually um, run my website through and it's just pulled up all the brand names and spelling mistakes. Yeah. As well yeah. as Facebook as a spelling mistake. Yeah. There'll be some false positives in there as well, too, because obviously it, it, it doesn't know the spelling of brand names. It just treats it as a mistake. So there is a bit of uh, intuitive stuff to, to work through to say, hey, that's a brand name or this is a genuine misspelling. So, um, so it really just is a bit of a guide. Yeah. All right. Any anything else? Ad manager, measure school, great. Spe what's that? Spelling scan has picked up squillions of errors on your site. All right. But almost all place names such as town, Bangalore. Yep. So place names and things like that that are not dictionary names, it'll pick those up as misspellings. So you just ignore all those. Okay. Down detector, great. Measure school is amazing. Uh, does it have heat mapping? Uh, not uh, no. I don't think Measure School uh, talks about heat mapping. If you want heat maps for your website, there's another site called Hotjar.com. So uh, Hotjar will um, that's where you can uh, get some heat maps on your website. Pretty good actually. Okay, I just typed to uh, Robert Hills. They're hotter. It's not let. So autocorrect on my uh, chat is not working. Let me 
just type in the correct one, hotjar.com. Sorry, what was the hotjar for? Uh, that's for heat maps. So, um, um, so that means that uh, it records when visitors go to your website. Uh, it will uh, record uh, how far down the website they go. So, so if you've got a hundred people that visit your website, it'll it'll have a temperature map which will show you like a um, hundred percent of people look at the top of it. As you go down to the very bottom, it might only get uh, ten percent of people that reach there. Right. Um, and it also uh, tracks things like clicks as well. So where people are clicking on your website, which might reveal some opportunities to uh, add additional content or or find out what they're after. So I'll give you an example about that. We had a um, someone that had a furniture e-commerce site, uh, commercial furniture, uh, that, and she had an image in there that uh, people were clicking on, which was their process, the ordering process. So it was just an image showing people how the ordering process worked. Heaps of clicks on it, and uh, but it didn't go anywhere because it wasn't a link. So what we did was we created a page which described the ordering process link that page to that uh, image on the uh, home page and then people click through uh, through to that they could see the ordering process and her conversions went up so she made more sales just by doing that there so um, you can use the click maps and the heat maps to help um, understand what people are doing on your website and what they want okay well, so someone like myself who doesn't do online sales but relies on a website just for a bit of presence and also um I don't get much out of Facebook, but I do get a bit on LinkedIn. Is there, what would be the best way to sort of kind of promote my business? That is a, uh, a pretty big question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, and it's, it's probably uh, not, um, I mean, we can't really sort of cover that now, but uh, we'd need to know more about uh, uh, what your objectives, uh, objectives are for the business. The, uh, the one thing I would say is that your website has got one job. Generally, your website's only got one job. So if you can focus on your website to start with in terms of its job, and that's to get an email address. So, um, and the reason why that is, is that uh, when you've got an email address, um, one, you've, you've, uh, you, you're no longer reliant on social media to bring your leads. You can communicate directly just with email, but then you can use the email address to do things like upload back up to Facebook, create a custom audience, helps you with your marketing and your advertising to be able to target some people as well too. Um, so, but yeah, just looking at the best way to market your business, that'd be a topic for another um, for another webinar because there are some specific things that you can do for it. But good question. Yeah, just want to increase my online presence basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well look, um, I think, uh, yeah, uh, if you, have you been long here before? No. Okay, there'll be some, um, for anyone that hasn't been here before, and for those that have, all of the videos of the past events are on Facebook. So if you join the Business Owners Smashing it Online Facebook group, um, a lot of the past recordings are there, and we've covered off some of that sort of thing. Uh, and, um, uh, and going forward, uh, now that you're here, you'll be on, on the, uh, uh, the email database so that when, when we've got events coming up, we'll show that, shoot out an email, you can come join the ones that are gonna be uh, of interest to you, and we do cover topics like that uh, too, Paul. All right, fantastic. All right, oh, and uh, the link to Business Owners Smashing on Online has just been dropped into chat, so go f feel free to go and uh, join that as well. That's where we make the announcements uh, of, of these sort of sessions too. All right, let's get into the main topic for tonight, what we're really here for. So let me uh, go and share my...